Myopia, or nearsightedness, is when objects close to you are in focus, but things further away are blurry. Here, I'll talk about why myopia occurs, what's really happening inside of your eyes, how to prevent your myopia from getting worse, and why your cat is super nearsighted. Myopia is super common. More than 40% of Americans have it, and that number is rapidly rising, especially among young kids. It's thought that a lot of time looking at cell phones and other things really close to your face are contributing to this increase in myopia. In addition to things further away being blurry, symptoms of myopia include headaches, eye strain, and squinting. Having myopia also increases your risk of other eye conditions like glaucoma and cataracts. In rare cases, a progressive type called degenerative myopia can be really serious and lead to legal blindness. This scary kind of nearsightedness affects about 2% of the population. Here's what's really going on inside of a nearsighted eye. Ideally, your eye would take in light from far away and focus that light down onto your retina on the back of your eye. However, if you're nearsighted, it's focusing the light too near. It's focusing the light too soon inside of your eye. So by the time those light rays reach your retina, they spread out and your vision becomes blurry. The lens in your eye is just too strong. It's too powerful. This can happen if it is curved too much when it actually needs to be more flat. The lens in your eye can change its curvature. That's how you're able to shift your focus from something up close to something far away. Nearsightedness could be your eye getting stuck in that position where it's looking at things up close. But what can you do about nearsightedness? Thankfully, you can address this with glasses, contacts, or eye surgery. So, because your eye is focusing that light too soon, the whole goal of corrective glasses or surgery is to push back that point of focus back onto the retina. So if you have a lens prescription, if you have glasses or contacts, the first number on your prescription will usually be SPH or spherical, and that describes the overall power of your lens. If that number is positive, that means that your lens is similar to the ones I've been showing. They take in light from far away and focus it down to the point. While if your SPH number is negative, you have a negative lens in your glasses. And then that means that it takes light in and spreads it out instead of focusing it down to a point. The larger the magnitude of your SPH number, the stronger your lenses are. So the more sharply they're either focusing or spreading out light. So for a nearsighted eye, we need to use one of those negative lenses that spreads light out because we need to push back this point of focus. We need the whole eye to not focus light as much. So if I have negative glasses, and I put that in front of the eye, this lens is too powerful. It basically cancels out this initial positive lens. So the lines are completely straight. But if I had a weaker negative lens, I could push back this point of focus. These glasses have a negative focal length that isn't quite as powerful as that first lens, but they're still a little too strong. So if I have the nearsighted eye and I put these frames in front, you'll see that it still pushes back the point of focus, uh, so the lines aren't completely straight anymore, but it's still too powerful. The light is focusing towards the edge of this board, while it should really be focusing back on the retina. But why would your eye be curved too much in the first place? A big factor of this is genetic. So if your parents had myopia, that definitely increases your chances of having it. But what you do can also impact the shape of your eye. Again, spending too much time looking at things up close, like your cell phone, a computer screen, or even reading books in dim light can introduce myopia. And you heard that right, reading could actually be bad for your eyes, especially if you do it up close and in dim lighting. Myopia can get worse over time, especially during the growth spurts of puberty. It normally levels off in your 20s though, but adults can get late onset myopia from stress or again, focusing too much on things up close like a computer. There are a few different treatment options with glasses being the most common. Depending on your level of myopia, you may only need glasses for certain activities, like seeing a chalkboard or driving. Or if you're really nearsighted, you may need them all of the time. Contacts with a negative power can also be used. Some people with myopia find that their distance vision is more focused and wider with contacts compared to glasses, but contacts are just a little less convenient. Laser eye surgery addresses myopia by changing the shape of your cornea, making it more flat. For people with a ton of myopia, artificial lenses can be put into your eye and even replace your natural lens. Definitely talk to your doctor if you think you have myopia to see what the best treatment option is for you. There are a few things you can do to prevent your myopia from getting worse though. You could limit your time on a phone or computer. Honestly, taking a break to watch TV further away from your eyes would give your eyes a nice break. 
You can go outside more, but wear sunglasses when you do. Not smoking definitely helps for just overall eye health. And you can avoid reading in dim light. Apparently, eating leafy green veggies and food high in vitamins A and C also helps with myopia and overall eye health. At the start of the video, I mentioned that cats are really nearsighted. Cats eyes evolved for low light hunting and they're proportionally huge compared to the size of their bodies. That eye size makes focusing between things up close and things further away so difficult that the muscles in their eyes develop an environmental bias based on how they use their eyes the most often. Because of that, indoor cats are usually nearsighted, while outdoor cats are typically farsighted. I hope this helped! Click to watch my previous video about cataracts, causes, effects, and treatments. Thanks.